Well, the United States wants a stable, um, essentially a stable and balanced uh, nation in Saudi Arabia. It's the largest nation in the Middle East, 28 million people or more. And uh, it is critical for the United States to have uh, that relationship in order to uh, offset the incursions into the region by Russia and certainly by Iran and other countries. So I think it's a very important relationship and it's moving in the right direction in many ways, but there's a lot more work to be done. And, and uh, I think the, the Prince's visit is, um, you know, has a couple of goals in mind which we can talk about. One of them, I think, is, is, is that he wants to create an image back home that he is, in fact, uh, a leader taken seriously by the United States. He make, meets with the president, meets with the congressional leadership, meets with uh, business leaders, key business leaders across the country, and, uh, and works hard to try to bring U.S. investment into uh, Saudi Arabia. I don't know how he might have reacted yesterday to the president's uh, boasting about all the weapon sales and all the money that the United States is going to gain Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is really more interested in U.S. foreign invest and foreign investment in its its own country. Yeah, they've they've had some struggles with that recently, particularly after what happened with MBS going on what he's called a corruption crackdown locking up some of the princes and others in the Ritz-Carlton for that extended period of time. That, that has created a bit of a pall in terms of what had been to that point some, uh, some excitement on the parts of foreign investors in terms of being able to invest there. How, how does this play out? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't play out all that well, I think. And um, one of the things that I advocated uh, with the Crown Prince when I was ambassador and with President Obama, and we were making some real efforts in this direction, is that if, 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 a, if a U.S. investor wants to uh, work investments into Saudi Arabia with partners in Saudi Arabia, uh, there needs to be some sense of, of confidence and security in their legal system, in their uh, rule of law system. Uh, the idea that, that somehow you're going, to, you're going to invest in a country where you're not sure that you have all the protections, the legal protections that you might have, for example, in the United States or in other countries in Europe, is, is daunting for American companies, or for any company for that matter. What should we read So they into? need to... Oh, go ahead. Well, they need, they need to, uh, I think, with our help, uh, they need to uh, reform their judicial system. They need to create, under Sharia law, they need to create a system that provides that confidence for investors. And I think that ought to be a, a top priority uh, of the Crown Prince. Their decision the to go ahead and I think and, we were heading in that direction. Their decision to go ahead and list Saudi Aramco um, on their own exchange instead of on an international exchange, at least at this point, is that something of a recognition that, hey, we, we do things our way here right now, we're not quite ready to be held to the same standards that we would have been other places? Mm, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think that... Um, that's a necessary domestic, uh, essential domestic uh, move for them. But I think on the larger scale, both an e IPO in the United States and one, or one in, in, in London, in England, uh, have some risks for them. And they've got a ton of lawyers uh, advising them, some of which say, you know, an IPO listing in New York or in, in England will have its risks, um, legal risks. Uh, and, um, and so I think they're trying to figure that out. I think they've done all the due diligence, they've done all the assessments that they have to do to satisfy potential investors and shareholders. I think where they need to go now is whether these investments would be safe and whether this IPO would be safe. Now, they, they're desperate for the resources that would come from this because right. they've been running deficit budgets. Sure. Something that they don't want to continue to do. They still have a fairly sizable um, uh, wealth fund right. to carry them over. Mm -hmm. But oil prices don't seem to be going up, so they need uh, the resources. And Ambassador. one way to do it is to bring foreign investment. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.